Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And this year is now a pride and this is the pride of the Glen Allaki distillery. So the Glen Allaki distillery, we never had that one yet. That's because it is kind of a new distillery. The distillery was bought by three Scotsmen, actually one Scot woman, and they bought the distillery and it used to be a distillery for the blend industry. So now they bought them from the blend industry and they actually bought them with a full warehouse. So they have all the stuff ready for bottling. And what they did is they released a 10 year old, a 12 year old, an 18 year old and a 25 year old. So there are not many new distilleries that can just release a, ba uh, a core range with this magnitude. So a nice thing that they did, everything is age statement, everything is not colored, everything is non chill filtered. So they kind of looking at the, the expert market, they kind of looking at the, the premium market and the people who actually do know about whiskey. So we have to treat this as a premium brand, although nobody really knows that brand yet. If you'd like to know more about the distillery, there is a video on this channel here on whiskey.com. You can find the distillery and have a look at all the stuff behind the production. I'm not going to talk about production a lot today. So today I'm going to talk about the Glen Allaki 10 years. The Glen Allaki 10 years is uh, the youngest of the batch, but it's it got a boost. It's a uh, uh, cask strength whiskey. And there's a lot of stuff going on with cask strength whiskies. If you do a cask strength whiskey, you actually have to do batches to do it right. Because if you do cask strength, then you can put a few casks together, still cask strength, you don't dilute it. But every year you're going to end up with a different strength in, inside the tank. Uh, this one here has 57.1% alcohol by volume. And it's batch number one. Yeah, so this is a true cask strength whiskey. So we're gonna see in the next years, uh, we're gonna see batch number two, batch number three, and so on and so on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I already got a sample, so I don't have to open the big bottle. It's 57.1% ABV, that's, that's 114 odd, something odd, 114 proof. Um, so it's quite strong, but I think I can handle it. It was matured in uh, American oak, PX, Oloroso and virgin oak casks. So quite a variety of casks there. Mm. And you already get a a sweet note, a honey note, some heather in it, a bit of toffee, caramel. There's a, a overtone on sweetness in that whiskey. With a little bit of uh, berry flavor, like wild berries, blackberries. Mm. Oh, it's nice. It's a, a nice, pleasant smelling whiskey. Oh yeah, we, we do we do talk about the the color. So I would rate it a two, three, something like that. Something between a two and a three. Mm. Mm. It's nice. It's pleasant with a, a little bit of a balance between a, a sweet and a, some stronger flavor, some dark flavor, some, yeah, what do you call it in English? Strong flavors. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, 
Mm. It's sweet. The, the honey is also in the aroma. And it's a, a mixture between a bit of sweetness and not sweet notes. So you still get the berry notes. A mm. bit of a a spicy note that you know from uh, you don't know this in the international world but uh, in Germany we drink uh, spiced wine in, in the winter time you take wine you put in some spices like cinnamon nutmeg and uh, oranges and cloves and all that other kind of funky uh, spices and you get a, a spiced wine and it's a Christmas wine and you may drink it hot. So this is kind of what it reminds me of a German Christmas market. Hmm. But very subtle on the oranges. Hmm. 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 Oh yeah, and it's um, pretty round for a 57% ABV whiskey. You almost do get, I almost get no burn at all. So it's a, it's really, really, it's a premium whiskey. So they really hold up a good standard. If you get to, get to buy one, I can highly recommend you you buy it then. So if you if you find one on the shelf, I highly recommend you buy one because they they didn't release that many bottles. They only released 12,000 bottles for the batch number one. So it will probably be sold out pretty quickly if you don't go on the, uh, to any of the, the big suppliers. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please go to whiskey.com. There is tons of information, news and everything about you want to know about whiskey. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.